morning class. Today we are going to be talking about word meanings. And every word has a definition. The definition of the words we have in the class, there are two ways of doing it. One, you can find the word and look it up in a dictionary that we have in the classroom. So say if we wanted to find out what the word bite means, I would go to the bees and I would find the word bite. And the definition for bite is to bite into an apple. And it also means to bite is, to take a bite is to take a small amount. So there's also a way of accessing it online talk about that in just a little bit with using the computer um, to access the dictionary through the web. So for right now, what I have is we are going to play the game with the smart board called Word Meaning. And I have a couple of different words here. So first we're going to talk about how we play the game. First we're going to read the word, then we are going to guess what the defin is, definition is to the word. We are going to match the right definition to the word. And it is, you know, it's always okay if you don't get it the first time. That's, that's called learning. You are, sometimes it takes more than a few times to get um, the information correct. So we are here to learn like um, Miss Lee just talked about. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to play the game. First, we are going to read our words. I'm going to say the word first, and then I would like you to repeat it after me, just so you get to know what, how the word sounds, and how the word sounds, and what it looks like. So the first word is emergency. Good. That's great. The second word is fireplace. Perfect. Great job. The next word is excited. Good. I loved hearing you say it with you were very excited when you read the word excited. The next word is hospital. And finally, good job, the last word is shampoo. Okay, so we have just a quick review. We have emergency, fireplace, excited, hospital, and shampoo. Okay, so now what the, what the direction said, first we read the word, now we are going to try to guess, remember it's a game, what the definition what the definition what the definition is to the word that we just read so the first word we have is emergency and what we have are different definitions under each card and with the cards so we have emergency does it does the word mean an urgent need for assistance or relief or for help? Um, is emergency a place where you can go eat? Or is it a utensil, which for example is a fork? What do you think the word emergency, what is the definition? You are correct, an urgent Emergency, the definition is an urgent need for assistance or relief or also help. Good job. Let's see if you were correct. So, emergency, you guys got it right the first time. That's awesome. So, emergency, this is maybe a sign that you would see if you were looking at the word emergency, usually it starts with like either a red circle or it has a cross in the middle. But the definition is an urgent need for the assistance or relief. Great job. All right, now we're going to 
to go on to our next word. Would anyone like to read this? Good. Fireplace. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to move our cards up. Okay, so the definition, who, let's see. The definition for fireplace, is it something to climb on? Is it a framed opening made in a chimney to hold an open fire? So basically what this says, is it an opening where you can have a fire? Or is a fireplace something that cuts the grass? Would anyone like to take a, take a try at it? Okay, yes, that's exactly right, fireplace. A framed opening made in a chimney. That is correct. So let's go to our next slide to see if you were correct. So yeah, you guys got it again. This is an example of a fireplace. So it has the large opening out of the wall, cut out of the wall. And what is in the middle of it? Yep, it is a fire. So great job. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to our next one. And something you guys already did when you read the word excited, maybe this can give you a little bit of a clue, but your voice um, sounded excited when you read the word. So let's go and we're gonna look at our definition. Number two. And number our definitions. Oops. Let's go back down. <laughs> Having a little bit of technical problems here. There we go. All right. Okay. Yep. There we go. All right. Nothing's ever perfect. Got a little bit of a glitch. So let's just go ahead. All right. So, excited. Is it a place to go and eat? Does excited mean something you can ride? Or is excited a feeling or emotion? Anyone like to guess? I kind of gave you a clue earlier by saying that your voice sounded excited when you were reading the word. Good, that's right, it is, exactly. It's a feeling or a showing or emotion. So an example would be, I feel so excited today, right? How did my voice sound? Did it sound angry or did it sound excited? Yes, it sounded excited, very good. All right, so let's go to our slide and check to see if you were correct. Yep, you guys got it. This is a, this is a picture of a girl who is excited, a feeling or showing an emotion. And you guys were correct, great job. All right, let's check our next slide. The word is, yep, you guys got it, hospital. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys all know what a hospital means, the word hospital, what the definition means. But we're gonna go ahead and look at the definitions. Okay, so is a hospital a place where the sick or injured are given medical or surgical care? Is the word hospital an animal? Or again, is a hospital a place, uh, it's something that you can eat, not a place to go to eat, it's it something you can eat. So anyone wanna try to guess what the word hospital, what the definition for hospital is? Yeah, you guys got it right away. So it is a place where if you are sick, you can go and get medical care. If you have a tummy ache or if your ear hurts, you can go get medicine, right? It is a, it is a place to go, basically it's a place to make you feel better, right? When your mom and dad sick you, if you have, like I said, with a tummy ache or an earache, that's where you go. You go to the hospital. Okay, let's, so let's see if you guys were right. And yes, you guys were correct. So this is a picture 
of a hospital. And if you're not sure if it's a hospital, what do you usually see at or on a hospital? Does anyone know? Yeah, right up here there's a red cross. And this red cross is a sign that usually you can see on a street sign or on the road that shows you the Red Cross usually means hospital. And it also is a it is also a picture for um, an emergency also. So yep, you guys were correct. It is a place where you can go, an institution where sick or injured are given medical or surgical care. So you guys got it. Awesome. All right, and the last word is, anyone wanna read it? Good, okay, it's shampoo. Who knows, let's see a, raise, uh, a show of hands, who used shampoo this morning? Okay, so it looks like about everyone, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and try to see what the definition for shampoo is. Oops. Okay, so probably already know what the definition or what shampoo is and what, it, what the meaning is. Um, is shampoo an animal? Is it a type of soap for washing the hair? Or is it a hammer? Anyone wanna, oh my goodness, look at all these hands. All right, so all together let's say, yes, it is the soap for washing the hair. Great job. All right, and here we have a picture, and you guys knew you were correct because Miss Lee already told you you were correct. So this is a picture of a girl who is doing what? She is shampooing her hair, it is soap. And that's how we get our hair clean, we use shampoo. So great job, you guys. It's just kind of a fun little game just to review, um, to look for uh, definitions with the words. All right, okay, so now what we're gonna do is I have a form that I'm gonna give you guys that you're gonna use um, for some of you are gonna write the word we're gonna look up these words. Um, and what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these words and then you're gonna look it up in the dictionary for yourself. You can use the dictionary or you can use the one online. And you're going to write the definition um, from the dictionary or using the web, um, the dictionary online. So for those of you that may need to have a little bit, for those of you who have a little bit of trouble with your writing, um, I have a form that basically is going to show you what we're gonna do as a group. In small group, we are going to match the word with the picture, okay? And this pretty much a picture can already tell you what the word means without the definition because we already talked about it with the word game. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you come up and we are going to match. So we have all of our pictures from before and we may look a little bit different, but you can still see some of them that are also um, the same. All right, so I'm gonna do one as an example. So if I, if I see the word emergency, who knows what word or what picture goes with the word emergency? Okay, yes, that is correct. Oh, so we're just gonna draw a line. Well, we can do that. So basically, emergency is going to match with 911. And that is also, if you read, it says need help now. So that is an emergency, okay? Then we also have uh, the word shampoo. Which picture are you going to use to show the definition of shampoo? Are we going to pick this one or this one? Which one? Yep, that's correct. Remember in the picture before, it showed the person that had soap in their hair, so that is correct, that is shampoo. Okay, and then we have another one here for hospital. You, if you remember the picture,
picture that has the cross, the red cross at the top.